Hey everybody, welcome back to Homeopathy at Home with Melissa. We're recording this right after our 12 days of cell salts in Christmas time. Um, it'll come out later, but hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different for us, but I'm excited about it. We're going to cover men's health. So we just had an episode about dads and thought it would be a good time to cover some men's health issues for any men listening or a lot of us have men in our lives in various degrees. So this will be helpful for all of us, I think. Yeah, I I don't know when if this one will come out, you know, before or after the dad's one, but around the same time so that um, men, dads or not, can hopefully learn some things this men's health men's health is not something that's often talked about that i hear of right and um we have a lot we have a lot here to talk about that concern men okay so you might just need to take it away because even though i have a husband and three sons i think you know more a lot more about this than i do <laughs> So what if, hold on, what if we um, go down the list and yeah, whatever questions you think of or extra comments, you know, I would love to hear it. So the first thing on our list is tinnitus and tinnitus is huge right now with a lot of people i don't know what's going on what's happening why that's happening but men tend to really struggle with tinnitus i think more than women is this and the energy protocol it, so vertigo can go along with tinnitus okay. often tinnitus comes first well I don't know if I know that for sure, but in my experience, tinnitus comes first and then vertigo comes later as the damage becomes more and more. Right. Um, and sense. then dizziness starts and then maybe some vertigo. Yeah, because there's damage in that ear. Um, but the Banerjee protocol for tinnitus is tellurium, tellurium, metallicum, 200C, uh, every three days. And conium or conium maculatum 6C twice per week. So that is also about every three days. And I wanted to read you the Banerjee protocol the way it's written because really you should follow it the way it's written. And the way it's written, you don't mix the two together. But I have had plenty of people mix the two together and still have good results. So just want to throw that out there. Um, if you want to follow it exactly, you'll take them separately. If you want to mix them together, I've seen it work. So that's a great place to start. Do you know what maybe causes tinnitus? I know we're not doctors, but I wonder if there's a reason it does affect men so much more often. I think, you know, that it's, it is the damage from loud noises. So loud music, teenage boys, <laughs> uh, you know, in their cars or whatever. Um, and then the, the jobs that men have often are in loud environments, you know, whether it be landscaping or, and then men don't um, concern themselves with hearing protection. Usually some I mean some do of course and my husband does he's worked in landscaping for 20 something years um, And he wears head he wears um, ear protection when he uses the loud equipment uh, We have a, a big huge. I don't know what you call it thing. We cut the grass with <laughs> and He wears ear protection and my son wears wears protection when they when they're driving that thing around but even I don't know when he uses the blower, but all the loud noises can damage mm. the so protect your ears. something in there. And, you know, it can also come from, you know, a head injury. Okay. It can also come from Maybe the mercury from fillings. Like if you that. have mercury. Oh, fillings. I didn't <clears throat> know any of this. Yeah, mercury fillings, I think. Okay. 
I think there's a lot of things, you know, just um, just toxins in the body, but also head injuries. And then, of course, the damage from loud noises. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, yeah. So the next thing on our list is um, viral induced hearing loss. And I hear this a lot with men. Well, I mean, with really with... with um, really with women too, but for some reason I hear it more with men, that after they get a virus, but also I've heard of um, men after they get a flu shot, that they had hearing loss and tinnitus come in after that. So, um, you know, and a flu shot is injecting the virus into right. your body. Well, and I don't think a the lot regular of times flu we shot. consider uh, um, shots in looking back like we look back in our past and we're like, well, maybe I got the flu and you remember that, but we often look over, I got the flu shot, unless you had an immediate severe reaction, but unless you ask someone, have you had a shot recently or whatever? And they remember, oh yeah, I did. And this did kind of happen around yeah. the same time. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, that's a great thing to ask people when when people come to you for help with homeopathy there's questions to be asked you know what happened just before right so with um with viral induced hearing loss then that is where i would look at never well since a virus so there are plenty of remedies that are great for never well since a virus and I actually am finishing up, likely this weekend, I'll be finishing up um, a, a virus slash COVID and post-viral syndrome, post-viral fatigue, post-viral, you know, whatever is happening after the virus um, course. And so that'll be released and then... Um, you'll have more information, but so never well since a virus um, often is gelsimium, gelsimium 30 or 200 once per day until you're very much better. And with that being a chronic thing, you want to reassess the situation after eight weeks, see if it's any better after eight weeks. And if it's not, then you might need to do something else, but also but if the ears are clogged because of this virus, then <laughs> if the ears are clogged because of this virus, then Cali Mirror, 30 or 200 um, every day. And see a chiropractor. See a good, no matter what the call, you know, whether it's, um, whether it's with or without clogged ears, see a chiropractor. Same thing for tinnitus. You know, chiropractic can help. You need a good one. We see a chiropractor often just for general wellness, but especially with ear problems. I have seen a huge difference in this. So I bet it would even help as you're healing from tinnitus. Yeah. I know it's not the same. It's The damage yeah. is different, but I do think all of that head, ear, I mean, your whole mm -hmm. body, but it makes a huge difference for us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Love it. So... The next thing is endurance during intimacy. So it really de depends on the etiology. When we're talking about um, things like this with men, uh, it depends on what the reason is. So the predisposition to low endurance during intimacy is um, increased in smokers. So that means smokers are going to have a higher likelihood to have trouble with endurance during intimacy, you know, and more men smoke, I think, than women. And, um, and they don't, you know, they're not as careful sometimes, uh, you know, about their health. So uh, if you didn't know that and you smoke and you're having trouble, your first thing to do is going to be to quit smoking. And if homeopathy can help you to quit smoking. So that would, you know, just you probably, yeah, probably need a chronic consult. Just contact me. I can help help you um, with any 
addictions, which is also on our list. So you'll get some ideas on that anyway. And then um, also hypertension, diabetes, heart disease, or arteriosclerosis. Those things can predispose you to um, endurance, having trouble with endurance. Um, also circulatory diseases. So again, overall health, eat well, you know, protect yourself and, and use homeopathy to uproot conditions. But the causes of endurance problems are often due to psychological problems. However, 75 to 80% are physiological and have their origin in, again, circulatory problems, uh, prescribed medications. So if you have, if you're on prescribed medications, you need to go to drugs.com and look up the side effects of the medications that you're on. If this is a effect of, of a uh, prescription that you're on, then we need to address why are you on prescription. So is it, you know, is, um, a skin condition, is it a condition, is it a heart condition, is it cholesterol, whatever it is, we need to address that with homeopathy so that you can possibly come off of or reduce that prescription so that that side effect will go away. Right. Often, it's like can start it's like a person physically and then it becomes psychological because that's a hard thing um, for men to deal with and yeah. not know what the problem is or to not understand that it's related to a, something that is physical and that you can change or that can heal. Yeah. So hopefully this is encouraging. Yeah. That there are yeah. many avenues to take. I hope so, too. To help take care of this. Yeah. I hope so too, because it's, it's, I was going to say, it's like the person who eats at McDonald's every single day and then is sick and wants homeopathy to fix it. No, that's not, that's not health. That's, you might as well go the allopathic route. If you want to continue living, um, the lifestyle that's causing your problem. So, yeah, I, I do hope this is encouraging also, because if you're doing any of these things, or you can change any of these things. Homeopathy can help you. Also, nerve disorders and pelvic trauma can be causes of endurance In issues. Of my so it would be in the same way that our environment really affects women's hormones and our health. I don't think men or maybe are as aware that the environment they're in so like chemicals in the environment and that can even be in clothing or plastic or things like that that you don't really think about all the time so just something to also consider maybe at home what it's like and then in your workplace what it's like what you're being exposed to and how to mitigate some of that to i mean that could play a huge role in this too I agree. And I do want to um, just encourage men who are concerned about health and do pay attention to the things that, well, no, I should say that the other way. I want to, to encourage the men who normally don't. It's not, I, I hope this doesn't sound like we're putting men down, but it's really is just the women, and usually in the families, the women is doing all the research and the health stuff. And that's what me and Mike Dixon talk about in the dad's one. He's encouraging dads how to get involved in their family's health care. And, um, you know, and because the men are focused on, I have to provide for my family. I am going to work. I'm going to provide. I'm going to put food on, food on the table and a roof over my family's head. And that's what they're concerned with. And that's okay. That's the way we're made different. We're, we're made different. So maybe men are, you know, maybe the men in your life, women who are listening to this, maybe the men in your life will never listen to this, but at least you'll have the information. And if they would listen to it, you know, then hopefully it could bless them. But you know, it's just we're, we're wired different or made different, and that's okay. But there are, you do have a responsibility, man or woman, for your own health. And so hopefully this this is really encouraging. But if the problem is psychological, so a physiological problem, 
needs a consult. So you need a chronic consult for that. But if it's psychological, here are some things that you could possibly try. So if you're depressed and that's why you're having in, um, endurance problems, then RM met 200 every three days, 200 C every, or every other day, every other day or every three days, either one is okay. And um, if you're angry all the time, which might be hard to recognize. So sometimes men, you might have to ask your wives or your family members or your, your friends, hey, what do you see? And then be open to hearing the truth. So if someone, you know, says to you, yeah, you're, you're pretty angry or you get angry easily or, you know, anything about anger, then that's Nux Vomica 200 once or twice a day um, so can really help with that. Is depression in men, I mean, in anyone, but I have heard it often that depression in men can even show up differently. So you might initially say there's no way I'm depressed because what we think depression looks like is laying in bed all day i can't get out of bed i'm really sad and so maybe right. look into how mm -hmm. that may present differently mm. and maybe ask other people in your life like you said other people that we're close to that you trust are often yeah. a really good sounding board for that kind of stuff very good yes i agree Often, and so when we get to, like I said already, addictions is on our on our list to talk about, um, men often don't realize that they are self-medicating with their substances. And that can be, you know, if they didn't have those substances, or if they look back to before they started those, why was it? It's hard for men, I think, for, for some men to self-reflect. And say, you know what? I started using this because I was angry or sad or mad or, you know, anger or mad um, or overwhelmed. You know, overwhelmed can lead to depression. Yeah. You know, depression can lead to anxiety or vice versa. Worry. You know, um, I love that, that you brought that up. Yes. And then another one. Um, if you have low self-confidence and gut issues like bloating or indigestion, heartburn, then like a podium, like a podium 200, you know, um, once a day to a couple times a week, you know, however you want to do that is, is okay. You can, you can be, you can work that out how you want to. Now, I know you said if this is a, a physiological problem um, to do a consult, but maybe just to ask the question, if this is a result of low testosterone for whatever reason, whether that's biologically in your body or because of environment, are there any remedies that you could recommend for that? Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So... The first thing to know is, or to remember, I guess, is that homeopathy brings homeostasis. So the same remedy can raise or lower testosterone based on what your body needs. So you, if you get the right remedy, it's going to bring balance to your hormones, to your body, whatever that is. So you don't have to go get extensive hormone tests. And then come and say, okay, I have low testosterone. Which remedy do I take? Okay, I have high testosterone. Which remedy do I take? Okay, I have low androgens. I have too much estrogen. None of those things matter. I don't have to know those things in order to help you. But some remedies for testosterone issues, um, we can kind of differentiate here. So if your low testosterone comes along with hair loss, um, then selenium, selenium 30, selenium 30 C might be a good choice. And, um, acidum phosphoricum might be a good choice. And I don't have a, a potency. There's not, these really aren't protocols. So I can't tell you free, uh, potency and frequency for these. 
this is where you just decide. Um, or you get help from a homeopath. And then if you are, you know, if there's melancholy, um, premature aging, lack of desire, Agnes Castus might be a good remedy to introduce. Um, that can, Agnes Castus is also great for erectile dysfunction, um, flaccid genitals, and low sex drive. So again, uh, that all those things go along with low testosterone. Argent nitricum, argentum nitricum, is good for when it presents with nervousness, the inability to achieve an erection, and um, lots of cravings for sweet and salty foods. A lot of people have cravings for sweet and salty foods, but when it also presents with these other things. And then let me encourage you to look in your Materia Medica, read these remedies, and see which one actually fits the best. Yeah, they're much bigger. Than but these are just all. some good starting points. Right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, low energy, poor concentration, and sleeplessness um, that presents along with your you know, your low testosterone, your endurance problems, your low libido, then a vena sativa is a good one to start with. Um, reduced libido impotence could be Beretta Carb, Beretta, or some people say Beretta Carbonica. You know, and, and just thinking about, since we're not giving potencies and frequencies here, start low and slow. Low potency, 6 or 12, maybe 30, once a day, you know? And that's just a good kind of starting point and just see how you are in eight weeks. Um, if this issue presents with irritability, depression, and decreased directions, then caladium, caladium is a good one. Um, Califos, so Califos is a cell salt. And you could use that in a 6X, um, 12X, or a 30C, or a 200C, however you want to go about it. But it's great for fatigue, depression, exhaustion, and prostration that presents as a part of your low testosterone picture. Lycopodium, so good. I've seen lycopodium work beautifully in men with, again, low desire, um, you know, endurance issues, um, and impotence, um, and, and just being physically weak. So I worked with a man earlier this year who works on a farm and he was like, I am physically weak and this is weird for me. This is not normal for me. Well, I'm seeing that a lot in a lot of people, not just men in the last two years. There's just this weakness that's coming, and especially after they've been sick, you know. Um, but also, like a podium is going to present with insecurity, maybe, maybe not. So remember, we don't have to have 100% of the, the picture. Um, low self esteem, low self confidence, you know, those would be bloating, so gastrointestinal issues, especially when there's bloating, like a podium. And then the last one, where when this issue presents with where the sexual desire is there, but the ability is weak, um, and then there would be fatigue, and that is selenium metallicum, selenium metallicum. Did we say selenium earlier? I feel like we did. No, we didn't. Okay. I don't think we did yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. That's a long list to work with. So Oh, yeah, we where... did. Selenium for hair loss. So that's where... Oh, at the top. You're right. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, like you were saying, it's a long list to work with. It, many are very similar, I think, in um, I didn't... fatigue, exhaustion, and seems to be linked a lot with low testosterone. So if you feel like maybe 
working your way through using a materia medica that's a great idea a lot of the 30s you could probably find locally um otherwise i do see how a consult might just be less overwhelming <laughs> to have somebody experience look at the bigger picture and give you somewhere to start might be more doable yeah so yeah so this is why i love to do these podcasts there are plenty of mostly women out there that want to dig in and figure the things out they have the time they have the energy and they want to do it and i'm giving you some great starting places but right if you are maybe you're a single man listening to this and you're like i don't you know i don't know how to learn this maybe you or just need extra you help maybe you just try some of these remedies i need all of them and they all seem so, so common and you don't Very common. To figure out which one to do yeah mm -hmm. so if you have the uh you know the energy and the time and you want to learn then more then you know listen to podcasts we have lots of we have lots of podcasts that help you um you know with some case taking and case management take a come take a class um or get a consult if you don't want to learn but these are really great starting points, especially for those that want to dig deep and get into the Materia Medica and figure it out. So what else have we got on our list, Brie? Okay, so we have um, some other men's health now moving on from um, testosterone and endurance problems. Other things men deal with, like hair loss, I think back problems. <laughs> I'm thinking of my husband. He's, his back is always... Yeah. Hurting him and he's too young. This is not normal. Mm -hmm. So those come to mind. Yeah, so I wonder why why more men I don't I don't don't actually know that. I wonder I wish I knew some statistics on men versus women and back problems. But either way, lots of men have lots of men have back pain. So um a chiropractor is in order and um, I love the pain trio that I use with many people it's a great place to start at least so Symphytum 200 Hypericum 200 and either Rustox 200 or Bryonia 200 and the way you would tell the difference is um, you're going to use Rustox in that combo if it's better with continued movement so think about the tin man and the wizard of oz he was stiff and and it hurt at first to to move but as he got moving as he moved more he it felt better and he was dancing around he was happy that's roost talks uh, you can even think of the rusty gate you know once it it's squeaky and hard but once the more you move it and then Bryonia is worse with movement. Um, so those two scenarios. Roost talks. I, I feel like a lot of men, and I have heard this from the chiropractor, whoever, um, because they are, I, if you're looking statistically, go to work, all, almost all of them, you know, and go sit. And a lot of them now have more day jobs where you're sitting. And those front hip flexors mm, get pretty yeah. tight, which puts tension on your lower back and at least that seems to be yeah. at least for kyle my husband that's the tightness that loosens up he'll go for a jog or he'll start do some stretches and i would think bruce talks for that and then there are the times where you yeah. hurt your back you pull a muscle you try to move something and you move and it hurts so bad that is more the bryonia picture mm. maybe those differences are helpful yes yes so bryonia's yeah, Bryon's worse with movement. Bryonia is better with pressure. And Restox is better with warmth. So you might want heat. So you might want heat on it. So that could be a question that you ask to determine. Yeah. Hey, does it feel better? Do you want heat or ice on it? Heat's going to be Restox and ice would likely be Bryonia. Mm hmm Okay, and along with that. So hair loss. Okay. Go ahead. I was just thinking um, pinch nerve. That's yeah, right. The pinch nerve thing like uh, that could be car accidents or mm -hmm. I don't know. You really injure yourself another way. 
Right. Yeah. Pinched nerve um, is hypericum and a chiropractor. Get that spine lined up, you know, get, get everything back in line. Yeah. Whether it's an injury or, you know, even just like you said, sitting for a long time can tighten things up. And so when your muscles, uh, you know, maybe play in sports or whatever you do, when your muscles get tight, it moves the, it moves your spine or the vertebrae, you know, yeah, into a, true. into a wrong spot. And that can, that can cause pain. So the muscles have to get real. If, if it's that the muscles have, are making things pull too tight, then Arnica is a great, you know, it's great for muscle tension and, um, and pain and stiffness. But yeah, Hypericum is going to help that nerve that nerve pain and then the chiropractor is going to help loosen all that up and get it back in line. So, all right, there's three different things you can do and look at hair. So to help the hair grow back phosphorus 200 every other day to stop the hair loss, Ustilago 200 every other day and to just thicken the hair and stimulate those hair follicles silica 6x three times two or three times a day some, some men are going to be like that is yes you can't take all of them together yep not at the same time right like the but you're on basically this protocol of all three but of spread those out. maybe Okay. That's right. Yep. With 15 minutes in between each. And so that's what, you know, most men are just not going to like, you want me to take this one three times a day and then these other two, well, the other two are every other day, but <laughs> so three times a day, if you can't, yeah, if you can't deal with that, do it twice a day, do it once a day, do it any, whatever you can get in. Okay. Because it's going to be helpful, whatever you can get in. And you know, I mean, some men will just like, I'm not taking these separately when they're all in my mouth at the same time. I'm not suggesting that, but ladies and gentlemen, whatever you can do to get it in likely is going to work. But if things aren't working, then you might need to backpedal a little bit and say, okay, let me follow the rules a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. And how important is it to you that it works? If it's very important, then do it right. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned um addictions earlier i don't want to forget mm -hmm. um to go there yeah addictions so uh, general addictions so whether it be alcohol drugs cigarettes nux vomica 200 once or twice a day can really be helpful to uproot that that craving, you know, that. Okay. And then we also, though, we also really need to look deeper at how did you, what happened? When did you, when you started using this, what was happening in your life? Why did you start using? Let's, let's look at the psychological end of it and see if we can figure out a remedy to help with that part too, but Nux Vomica is great for for men, you know, in general. So, on in, in addition to um, addictions, it can um, it does a psychological thing too. So, if there's a, especially if there's anger and irritability involved, then it's going to be a great choice. Let's look at some skin stuff. All right. So skin skin tags, um, whether it be skin tags, warts, moles, growths, thuya, thuya 6C daily. Likely for a while. This is not going to be a fast fix. Not going to be eight gone in eight weeks for most likely, but it could be. I mean, everybody's different, so it's possible. And then poor men with the athlete's foot and the toenail fungus. 
I don't know why more men deal with that. I really don't. I wish I knew. Maybe we should have done some research to figure out why more men have that than women. But your toenail fungus is graffiti's 200 every other day. And athlete's foot is antimonium crude 6C mixed with arsenicum album 200C once or twice a day. I was just looking up why men are more prone to athlete's foot. And I mean, I've heard this because of okay. sports. But I mean, women do sports, but maybe it's um, men working and having moist, wet feet. So like work boots, military okay. Sports, they're hotter like rooms, like wet. they tend to be hotter yeah yeah maybe that's it they sweat more well not me but then maybe sweat more yeah in general. true <laughs> yeah that's and true I, a lot of men aren't my husband <laughs> yes. is very clean but not all men are like him right right some men don't care as much you know about their their hygiene yeah and and you know washing clothes and all that stuff so Okay, that makes sense. Especially like a high school guy. You can All right. High school and college, they don't care. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all the things on our list. And I think that's a great start for men and men's health. Um, hey, guys and, and women of, you know, that are trying to help your men, if there are more men's health things that you want to hear about or learn about, 